Hi everybody, Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth here and what a day we've had so far. Uh, we talked last week about watching the ever important op options expiration Friday and whether we broke higher or lower than that range. Of course we set that range at a high of 1898 and a low of 1864 last Friday and you can see we've broken higher than that. We mentioned in last week's recording that if we did continue higher than that range we would likely continue further up with a strong bullish momentum. We have continued so far and what we're actually forming is what's called a bump and run formation which is where you get this parallel channel followed by a sharp drop and then a rally up to the top trend line. So this is called a bump and run. What typically happens is then you can often have a test of this resistance as we're seeing today. Uh, if this bullish momentum continues, it's likely to have a small pullback followed by a further surge in that rally. Uh, so that's what a bump and run will typically do, but we are at that key resistance level currently. Now, stocks that have been doing really well, such as NUS was one of our picks for our premium subscribers uh, to our platinum pick service. This is one we sent out last night was NUS. You can see really beautiful accumulation on the money flow going right up as the stock basically went sideways and we've had a really beautiful rally off of that trend line support that you can see down the bottom going for an 8 or earlier an 8% high uh, off of uh, the uh, close of yesterday. So really beautiful upward momentum there uh, for those of you who are on our premium subscription. Uh, but the um, for those of you who are just joining us on our, uh, on our free subscription, here's a couple of ones for you to watch um, because not everything is going up. ATHN, for example, uh, is a stock that has uh, been under some tremendous technical pressure and has broken down from this trend line with a Twigs money flow following. Now, if we start to have a look at some of the overhead moving average resistance, you'll see that the 5, the 9, and the 20 are actually all pressuring this stock down quite sharply. Uh, now, with a, re with a recent rally in the market, this has not participated in it, and the money flow has continued to drop. So this is something I expect to drop down um, to around the $100 level, and I've actually purchased um, uh, October $100 puts, and I've also purchased... Um, and I'm also looking to purchase some um, uh, October, uh, excuse me, November 21st 120 puts, which are currently at uh, 850. So um, uh, this is something that, even as a stock trade, could possibly be something for your watch list that may drop down again towards that $100 level. I'm looking at $100 because that's where that previous low was that we had a recovery bounce from before. The other stock that's been interesting, which I purchased puts on today, uh, but also a potential stock short, either way, um, depending on what you like to trade and what your risk tolerance is, uh, Twitter is something that has uh, broken its, you can see it's broken its trend line here, just a couple of days ago, uh, did not al also did not participate in the market rally and has just been kind of humming along here. Now, it did rally up today straight into a resistance point. And, and what I noticed is that we've, we've actually now formed what potentially could be a complex head and shoulders pattern. So if you actually have a look now, what, the, what we're left with, uh, we've got this neckline, neckline, head in the middle. And this would, this would possibly um, anticipate a drop Firstly, down to this level here at 46.40, but if it was to break that and become an even more aggressive drop, possibly combining with its earnings announcements coming later in the month, a possible target down here of around 37. So that would be quite interesting to see, considering a lot of analysts are predicting big earnings uh, on Twitter. Uh, this could be a, an upset to the downside, but uh, that's something that uh, I've also purchased puts on today. Uh, other, a couple of other things to be aware of, um, Hawaiian Airlines report uh, after market today. Hawaiian Airlines, of course, have been on a surge and uh, they will be reporting their earnings. So it'll be interesting to see if they can carry that upward momentum through that announcement. Uh, I won't be looking to trade this myself. What I will be looking at is at seeing how the market reacts to its earnings and see if we do get a pullback uh, in tomorrow's markets to look for an opportunity to enter into Alaskan, which actually report on Thursday. And Alaskans also had a very big surge uh, coming down from that kind of dis, uh, falling wedge that you can see that I've got graphed up here on the chart being a bullish pattern. But um, at these prices, I'd like to see this pull back ideally down to that $44 level. And then I might look at some, uh, might look at some uh, uh, out of the money uh, or calls on that one. So there's a couple of ideas that you might uh, look at in your watch list. I certainly hope it helps. Um, for those of you who are, are just on our free trial, we do issue videos like this every day with our top stocks from our filters and scans. 
and um, the types of trade setups that are occurring. Uh, again, these are not recommendations, they're just purely for your watch list, but certainly highly valuable. Uh, if you want to uh, take a trial of that, simply go to acornwealthcorp.com and uh, send us a quick note to either contact us or hit the trial button and we'll be able to set you up with our uh, daily Platinum Pick service. Again, we hope it helps and have a great day trading.